It is a year, write this one down, that there will be a discovery of some difficult cases like uh, email, sickness, that have no trace. Well, China's coronavirus continues to spread. Authorities are saying the outbreak could peak in 10 days. There have now been 132 deaths, close to 6,000 cases, and 16 countries outside China have confirmed cases. As you can see from this graph, the number of cases has spiked over the past week, and the city of Wuhan continues to be at the centre of the outbreak. The authorities are telling residents not to travel anywhere. And this is the situation in which some of those residents are living. Completely deserted streets, as you can see, because people are not only being told not to leave the city, they're being told not to leave their homes. Also in Wuhan, this has been happening. Two new hospitals are being built, especially for coronavirus patients. The first has over a thousand beds and we're told it will be finished within a week. Well, you can also see conditions inside one of the existing hospitals in Wuhan. Dozens of patients have to queue for checks. New patients are arriving all the time, and you can see everyone is wearing face masks. Now, it is a year, write this one down, that there will be a discovery of some difficult cases like uh, email, sickness, that have no trace. Let's get right to our top story, the expanding outbreak of the deadly coronavirus. Look at the map. What started in China has now spread to Europe, Australia, and the United States. Here's what we know as we come on the air. There is now one more confirmed case in the U.S., bringing the total to three. In China, where the outbreak started, the total number of those sickened rose overnight to 2,000. 56 people have died. And we can now confirm that the U.S. State Department is evacuating staff from the consulate in Wuhan, China. Ground zero for the outbreak. ABC's Ian Panel is covering it all for us from Hong Kong. Ian, good morning to you. That's right, lots to bring you up to date with. Growing numbers infected, a new warning about how contagious this could be, and the American family trapped in the middle of this crisis. Now, it is a year, write this one down that there will be a discovery of some difficult cases like uh, email, sickness, that have no trace. This morning, another American diagnosed with a potentially deadly coronavirus. The patient in Southern California is the third to be diagnosed with a new pneumonia-like virus in the U.S. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention confirming they'd been to the Chinese city of Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak, and tested positive for the virus overnight. The patient's in isolation and said to be in good condition, but officials warning more people will likely become infected. This, as the outbreak escalates yet again, there are now 15 countries and territories worldwide with cases. This morning, Chinese health officials saying more than 2,000 are now infected there and 56 have died. The Chinese health commissioner now warning the source of the infection still unknown. We had discovery of some difficult cases like uh, email, sickness, that have no trace, that have no trace, that have no trace. The source of the infection still unknown. The harmfulness of the coronavirus to people of different ages is now changing. And most worryingly, indications the virus is becoming increasingly contagious. Over 1,300 more medics have been flown to the epicenter of Wuhan, where officials are scrambling to build three new emergency hospitals in a matter of days. These exclusive images, filmed for ABC News from inside the city, show a ghost town, with signs warning people to wear masks fluttering in the wind. 